Morning, you run this the news burst. It is Wednesday morning. Wake up temps in the mid to upper 50s. 56 in Milwaukee, almost 60 degrees in Waukesha to get started here on your Wednesday. Fog, isolated showers, then partly to mostly cloudy, bit breezy and very warm, says Scotty in the Storm Team forecast. High today near 77 degrees. Wisconsin still listed among a handful of states still firmly up for grabs in the presidential race. So we are getting some high profile visits this week. Vice President Joe Biden is coming back. He's doing the college tour, visiting UW Oshkosh and UW Parkside on Friday. Tomorrow, uh, Republicans are sending Florida Senator Marco Rubio. He's got an appearance in Waukesha. Today, Donald Trump says he has a big announcement about President Obama. He's planning to drop the information on Facebook and Twitter later this morning. Waukesha police are planning a news conference later this morning detailing a standoff and gun battle with a 76-year-old man. He was ultimately arrested and nobody was shot. Police claim the man was violating restraining order with his ex-wife. The Milwaukee police officer who actually fired his gun inside Southridge Mall is due to be sentenced this morning. Sergeant Michael Edwards pled guilty to a disorderly conduct charge. He was off duty at the time. His gun fell out of his waistband and went off. Okay, so it was, in fact, the big announcement from Apple, the iPad Mini, unveiled by Apple yesterday. Smaller screen, just shy of 8 inches. The biggest surprise, though, was the price. Now, again, this is the gadget that is supposed to compete with the Kindle and the Nook. Both of those sell for about $200. The Apple version, $329. Are they going to buy it, Susie? Yeah, people will buy it. I don't know that it'll be all the rage, though. $329, that's hot, right? right? Is that too much? It's too much. It might be above the price point. To make it a mass, right. of, you know, a mass item. Sports Jaguars come into Lambeau Field this week to face the Packers, and they will be without their all-pro running back, Maurice Jones-Drew. He is out with an injury for Sunday's game, which helps us.